So when Aegis was first designed, its intended mission was protect the carrier. Aegis is the single best combat management system known to mankind. It was to be the shield of the fleet. Uh, the Spy-1 radar was designed with the idea of creating kind of a dome or a bubble around the fleet. That radar development was the core of what made Aegis successful. We've always managed to stay one step ahead and being able to outpace the threats that are facing every day. I think that's something important that we've done from a Aegis heritage and something that we want to continue doing as we move forward. Because the system is continuously evolving, it forces us all to challenge ourselves and grow. The opportunities for being creative, learning the latest technologies, working with a new business partner, exploring a new open architecture framework are just countless. So what started out as a single mission, primarily AW against a near peer threat, has evolved to be able to put the common source library onto international ships, LCS, Coast Guard, Aegis Ashore, and build in that flexibility that really gives us that scalability into the future. As we deal with cyber threats, as we deal with high-speed threats, smaller radar cross-section threats, the various components of Aegis are also evolving. That's exciting. We're introducing things like laser weapon systems on board ships now. And it's hard to predict what the future will bring, and we'll keep coming up with new technologies and new processes and, and enable us to stay ahead of that threat. When I look at the future of uh, defensive warfare, Aegis will be well-suited and well-positioned to adapt to deal with an ever-evolving